Then all at once the wind fell, and a calm came over all the sea, as though some power lulled the swell. The crew were on their feet briskly to furl the sail and stow it. Then each in place they poised the smooth oar blades and sent the white foam scudding by. I carved a massive cake of beeswax into bits and rolled them in my hands until they softened. No long task, for a burning heat came down from Helios, lord of high noon. Going forward, I carried the wax along the line and laid it thick upon their ears. They tied me up then, plumb, amidships, back to the mast, last, lashed to the mast, and took themselves again to rowing. Soon, as we came smartly within hailing distance, two sirens, noting our fast ship off their point, made ready, and they sang... This way, O oh, turn your bells, a key is glory, as all the world allows. More and be merry, sweet couple dares we sing. No lonely seafarer holds clear of entering our green mirror. Pleased by each purling note, like honey twining from her throat and my throat, who lies a-pining? Sea rovers, here, take joy, voyaging onward as from our song of Troy, Greybeard and rower boy goeth more learned. All feats on that great field in the long warfare, dark days the bright gods willed, wounds you bore there. Argos's old soldiery on Troy beach teeming, charmed out of time we see, no life on earth can be hid from our dreaming. The lovely voices in ardor appealing over the water made me crave to listen, and I tried to say, untie me, to the crew, jerking my brows, but they bent steady to the oars. Then Perimides got to his feet, he and Eurylochus, and passed more line about to hold me still. So all rowed on until the sirens dropped under the sea rim and their singing dwindled away. My faithful company rested on their oars now, peeling off the wax that I had laid thick on their ears, then set me free. <laughs>